Okay, morning guys. Let me uh, switch over here real quick to resumes. That's what we want to talk about this morning. Uh, this is a last minute, um, kind of just to walk you through a couple of resume do's and don'ts. I know that's due for you today. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Actually, let's make it this way. There we go. Okay, so you have a resume and you have a lot of information and you've never done this before, and I don't mean that you haven't submitted a resume before, but what I do mean is that you haven't been the boss and you haven't sat down with a stack of resumes and gone, uh, what do I do with this and how do I choose somebody? Uh, and remember what most people are doing is sort of making three stacks. We've got the, you know, I'm sorting through 200 resumes and I've got the, wow, these really impress me stack, that's kind of small. We've got the middle, which are the, hmm, yeah, maybe stack. And then we've got the stack over here on the right, that says, uh, absolutely not, right? Um, and, and if you recall, we only get five to seven seconds to determine which of those stacks you are in. So what I have in front of you, and I have it very small on purpose, uh, because I want you to see how much time you actually get. Um, and you can see just by skimming the two things that are sitting in front of you, that one of those is obviously marked do and don't, but one of them is easier on the eye. And so I wanna talk through a couple of those things. Um, we've got here two different people entirely, but you can see that the, the concept of white space is really important. And I've marked this, or I will mark this on several of your resumes coming back. White space is important, um, both for good and for bad. So white space is what we call negative space. If you can see here on the left, this one right here, there's a giant white hole right here and your eye is drawn immediately to that hole. It is not drawn to the name or the information or all this great stuff that's here or immediately drawn to that hole. Uh, that's not what you want, right? We're over on this side, it's a little bit better. We have a little bit more of a balanced feel. We want something to be balanced. Uh, we want it to be pleasing in how we view it. So yeah, you got to have good information, of course, but you also have to have a pleasing view because you're only going to get that five to seven seconds at the beginning for them to to determine which of those piles you go in you don't want to go into the wrong pile just because you know they your, their eye caught something that you didn't want um so there's there's a lot that's that's okay with this left one here right so a lot of stuff that's working we have all the standard sort of things we've got core competencies career objectives professional experience um, name and address but over here on the right, we have that put together in a way that makes it easier to find. So you can see that if I'm sort of scanning, and again, our eyes scan from the top left down in a triangle to the bottom right, um, the, the core information that I'm looking for is easy to find here. And this white space here, we have a balanced amount of white space. Now, what does white space do? White space enhances the words that are actually on the page. Um, over here you can see that there's a lot crowded in here and sometimes we have to crowd stuff in because we have a lot of things to say um, but it doesn't do quite as much of enhancing what we have as this one does. Uh, so over here we've got what, what, our, what is our eye drawn to after you know, the fact that we see balance we see company name, company name, company name, company name. Now, does yours have to look like that? No. Uh, what do you want your eye to be drawn to? Well, you want your eye to be drawn to the thing that is your best thing. So if uh, your work experience isn't your best thing, then you don't want that at the top. You don't want your experience at the top like Jon Snow's, right? You want something like education on the top. Um, we want something like skill sets. We want uh, classes you've been in, whatever it is that you want the eye to catch on first. We want to start with that here at the top. But notice how it's easily balanced with uh, um, white space around it. We've got the, the thing they want them to be catched is, their eye to be caught on is the company name. Um, so that's in bold. And it's easy to see what's going on over here. It's easy to see we've got education and skills that's at the bottom. Um, so just looking at this without even being able to read it, you can see why this one maybe caught their eye a little bit more. And you probably even down here at the bottom in this white space here, um, you could even improve this one even more by adding a third column and adding something else. So maybe we've got education skills, maybe like this one has a words and honors over here down at the bottom. 
Maybe you could even add a column over here for awards and honors if that's necessary, or um, a group of classes that you've taken and projects you've completed, whatever the case might be. Um, just, I wanted to show you really visually the idea of white space and why you don't want to have giant holes of white space, but you do want to have a nice balance and you do want to have white space because it does enhance the things that you have. So that's your quick and uh, easy resume reminders before you turn that in.